Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this video we will see that what is the life cycle in the git. So this is basically the second video of uh, my git tutorial and uh, first of all we will see what is the life cycle things then we will see that what commands we have to use in the life cycle method and at, at the last we will uh, make a repository on git and we will download it or we will clone it we will make some changes and we will upload our changes that means we will push the changes all right so the first thing of the lifecycle method in git is the git initialization which is the here all right so it can be git initialization or the git clone which is the here the both are not similar uh, let's say some other guys is already make the repository in your project and you just want to use it then you will not use the git in it that time you will use the git clone and the repository path and i will show you the example everything in the uh, last of this video after the just finishing the discussion all right and after that we will make some changes let's say we just uh, make the changes in the 10 files then we can git add all right and then we will git commit so why we have to use the git and and git commit two times why we cannot use the same thing in a single command because in the git add let's say in the 10 files you just want to uh, upload the uh, five files on the server all right so we will just add the five files and then we will commit and the, what is the meaning of commit so it will give you an id so let's say after the commit or after the two months three months you just want to see that uh, on, on which day i what changes i made so 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 that you can use the git commit and it will uh, make a unique id for the every time and you can just uh, get the rollback data and you can get the backup from the git ids and we will use this command also in the next videos and in the uh, a very brief discussion in the same video also so that we can understand it in the more detail all right thus everything is which is happening on the fourth command we will uh, on the local repository and we will work is done uh, the uh, a code is added committed after that we just have to use the git push command and it will send your local data to the git repository all right so these are the commands so first of all if we are just uh, making the command in initially on our local host then we can use the git in it otherwise you can use the git clone to download the uh, data from the server and git add we will use for how much files we just want to upload then we will make a commit or this is a milestone here we can uh, get the git commit id and this is the uh, identification from here we can get the backup then we can just get the rollback our code and many things all right and then we will just push the data that's it so now uh, i am just going to open the git hub.com all right so because I already have an account, you can use the uh, git uh, lab also and you can also use the uh, Bitbucket if you want. In your case, you must have to sign up if you don't have an account. If you have, you can just sign in. So this is my credentials. I am just signing in here. All right. So I am just going to make a new repository for that. Let's go to the right top corner and here just create a new repository here. And my repository name can be like you uh, tutorial right and when anything that you want to put you can make so I can just make a one file initialize the repository with a readme that means that a readme file will be automatically present when I just create the repository all right and when you just click on it then it will show you that you already have a created the commands are also here if, if you just want to use from here but uh, if you just want to go to the directly on your repository then you can also do it so let's uh, go to on your channel and just go to on repository and you will see that here is your repository right so uh, it will just showing you that uh, uh, if you just want to clone here then you can just use the everything and if you just want to create a new file here then you can also just create here a new file right so let's say i just make file some uh, let's say index.html or whatever file you just want to create right uh, you can just add some code 
some code right and just uh, just write a new commit here and after that you will see that in your file you just have a one file here all right so now let's uh, you can directly download from the zip here but uh, the better way is just copy this line which is the clone with the http you can also use a, a, a ssh but uh, we will see this in some next videos because this is a completely different process so basically people use the HTTP just copy from here and just open your command prompt and uh, I am just going to the command prompt in a specific folder like uh, YouTube video I just already made a folder here and I am just going to use a git clone here simply so let's paste it and whenever you will just go in the folder let's find the folder here uh, um here then you will find a u tutorial here because your git is cloned here okay so now you can see that okay so what is the next command which is the git status it will tell you that what is the status of your file how many files you just have to change now if i'm just going to check here git status it will show me nothing nothing uh let's uh just check here git status it will show that you are on the master branch nothing to commit but directory is clean so let's say just make a new file like home.html all right and now whenever you just try see it then you will see that here is one more file so then now just use the more commands here like git add which is the next git add dot i am just going to create and showing you how we can code the update the code in the next videos upcoming videos i will take a one command for the one video and we will understand in completely we will understand the options we will understand the feature of this command all right so let's continue with the just overview all right so just get at git commit test commit this is a git message and get push and now it will just ask you the username and the username should be the same similar to your git hub so i am just going to write here web and you'll see to at the rate gmail.com because this is my username and password i am not going to tell you <laughs> all right so whenever you just push here now you will see for now there is only one file you can see here whenever you just refresh here now you will got the two files and you can see the commit we just made here made here test commit all right so this is the whole process of the git lifecycle in the next video i will we will understand about the branching why we have to make the branching what are they and why they are useful and all right so uh thanks for watching this video and uh, if you have any opinion suggestion uh, compliment complain anything then just put in the comment box and I really appreciate your time that you just keep to me. Thanks again.